Alrighty, hey kiddos, welcome back to another episode of Dreams. Hold on, I'm still getting comfortable. You're probably gonna hear me shifting around in my bed. There we go. Alright, uh, we got a whole bunch more stuff to do today. I wanted to get some episodes of Dreams done. And we're gonna start out with this one. This is Grip Gold by King Bobo. You gotta use your controller to play this. It's a gyroscope game. I don't know really what that means, but we'll see. Also, I do have a cold, so apologies for bad intros and stuff. So there I was, trapped and alone, but I had hope that the end was in sight. After all, legend spoke of this devious device as the key to uncovering the serpent I sought. The only question was, how is it to be utilized? As I wrangled with the artifact, I noticed part of it was covered in dirt, which I figured might be hiding something important. Behind the dirt lay a pearlescent stone, similar in diameter to a beam of light radiating from above. Once the stone was exposed to the light, buttons arose from within the device. Upon pressing the final button, more stones were revealed and the beam of light split in three. As the beams faded, energy absorbed by the stones unveiled a dial of some sort. The stones glowed as I rotated the dial clockwise, as if energized in some way. Light streamed from the device once the stones were fully energized. Although my revolver was out of bullets, I imagine the extended reach of its barrel might still prove useful. I noted the dial now controlled the spread of the beam whose shape resembled a pair of stones on the panel ahead. Once both stones were lit by the beam, the panel flipped to reveal what appeared to be a base of some sort. Would the full image convey the true purpose of all this ancestral apparatus? With little time for other thought, three wooden arms swung into view from above. Meanwhile, several miniature symbols arose that I supposed were related in some way. When tapped, the vibrating symbols provoked movement in what I assumed to be some kind of lock. I surmised I could open the lock if I were to tap the correct set of miniature symbols swiftly enough to produce a specific chord. I was convinced that the three arms could offer clues of which symbols to tap. Although only one shape was still attached to its arm, I suspected two more were nearby. I surmised I could open the lock if I were to tap the correct set of miniature symbols swiftly enough to produce a specific chord. Once the symbols resonated in a specific harmony, another dial was revealed. The new dial allowed me to alter the shape of the beam and, I imagined, match the stones on another of the panels.
as before, I deduced I should rotate the dials to allow the beam to match and energize white stones on the panel ahead. Once the stones were lit, the panel upon which they sat was flipped. With two panels' backs now visible, I could see part of a set of scales depicted. But what was being weighed? And what was my role expected to be in this ancient arrangement of metal and stone? I hoped the remaining panels would finally offer the answers I sought. As I studied the room for further clues, serpentine statues ascended from below setting the stage for another challenge. It wasn't long before my eyes were drawn to coloured crystals in the statues' mouths, which were covered by thick web. In order to expose the coloured crystals, I first needed to clear the web. Several circular stones resembling those I'd lit previously seemed pivotal to the situation. suitably tinted the beam, it did not naturally align with the stone on the panel. I needed to move the statues so the beam could reach the stones when passed through the coloured crystals. Once the final panels flipped, I could see a person depicted on the scales, presumably representing any soul ensnared by the trap to which I myself had fallen victim. So, I was being judged, my worthiness tested through the series of trials I'd completed. But, for what? As the magnificent creature for which I'd searched for so long finally slid before me, I realized the fate for which I'd just proven my worth. I was dinner. As for how this recording came to be, well, perhaps that's a story for another time. Oh, dang, I wasn't expecting that ending. That's fun. Uh... All right, a little bit of a weird cut, but we're going to move on to Sammy Seal by Jimmy Cultist. Take on the role of infamous detective Sammy Seal. That's this dude, I would imagine. This is a worm, I think. I don't know. Um, yeah, we're going to play it. I don't know how long it is, but looks like it's got a cool art style.
is here reporting from the Daily Live. Today, the nation was shocked by the sudden, but perhaps not so unexpected murder of Mr. Bodinia. Who could have committed this astounding crime? The police are stumped, as usual. Evidence suggests a lone gunman being the culprit, but the authorities are unwilling to make any statements at this time. Things have gotten so out of hand, the infamous detective Sammy Seal has been called in to solve the case. Shame we have to leave on such short notice. I'm not very fond of the city, it plays havoc on my lungs. Are you listening to me, Sammy? No. This is no time to be stuffing your face with coconut crackers. <clears throat> On the contrary, it's the best time. This case has stumped even the police, so I have to bolster myself with good food. Looking at the list of suspects, I'd say it could have been anyone. Maybe everyone did it. That would be a real twist. I do wish you'd take these things more seriously. Sometimes I wish I was on a case with someone more dignified, like Tomato. What would I do without my assistant? Mm, now I just feel mean. Thank you, driver, and keep the change. So this is the scene. I can't wait to bust this place wide open. Odinia seems to have enjoyed heights. Potato in the sky. A what? Here is our stop. What do you make of it, Sammy? It is a body. Very astute, Sammy. Let's see what else we can find. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. They could send an innocent person to jail, that's fun. Hello, fine. Sammy. Anything I can do to help out? Hey, Wormy, any thoughts on the case? I'd say searching for clues is important to unraveling the happenings here. Build up a body of evidence so when comes time for the parlor reveal, you can accuse a suspect. I think I've already got my man. Please be careful, Sammy. I'm pretty sure your rash accusations have sent more than one innocent to jail in the past. Hello, Sammy. Anything I can do to help out? The body has moved. Did you see it? Sorry, Sammy. My glasses need cleaning. I didn't see anything. Got anything for me? Seems like we keep running into each other. Yeah, you're like the flu. You just keep coming back. I hope this time you aren't going to jail. What you looking for? A medal? Why don't you butt out of my business? Got anything for me? I'd like to ask you a few questions. My business likes to cooperate with the law. Were you acquainted with Mr. Bodinia? He called me in to help him with some financial troubles. You 
you help with financial troubles? Why not? Some egg guy needs money. No questions asked. So I loan him some money. And if he can't pay? Oh, they pay up. They always pay up. So can you tell me where you were on the night of the murder? Me and the boys were playing cards at Bell. Did the boys swear you were with them last night at Bell's? Yeah, then he was there. He'll testify for me at Bell's. So long, sucker. I'm gonna say it was Lone Shark. Like the victim, a motive. Oh, you seem a bit dense for this kind of work. Good afternoon. You must be that detective fellow. How can I help you? I'd like to ask you a few questions, ma'am. I'd be happy to oblige. Have a seat and take a load off your feet. Now that you are standing like a beach to end, what are your questions? On the night of the murder. I was with my friends at the Garden Beautiful Convention, rigorously rooting up rogue garden clubs. <laughs> what was you sniffing at? <laughs> Nothing. That's all for now. Hello, BlazeBoy34. What is this? This is Sammy Seal, the Sky High Potato Murder. We're trying to figure out who murdered the Potato Boy. Not my stream locked for a second, I think, I don't know. Alright, who is in here? May I help you? Nice to see you again, Mr. Venison. We at Venison and Shirk here value our associates. Say hi to the missus for me. You may pass on that salutation personally to my partner who is on the premises. May I help you? I'd like to ask you a few questions. We at Venison and Sure Care are dedicated to moving forward with law enforcement cooperation. So can you tell me where you were on the night of the murder? At the time of the murder, I was resting on a sleep receptacle within this domicile. Our client and the unit known as me were transacting a policy change to his personal plan. What about your wife? I cannot account for my partner's exact location on the night in question, but I trust her to be above scrutiny. Were you acquainted with Mr. Bodinia? Venison and Sure Care provides coverage for many dynamic social animals. 
Mr. Bodinia was a valued client. We were committed to giving him the very best in life insurance policies. Who stands to inherit his insurance money? The client's twin sibling, whom I have not had the pleasure of meeting in person. Have a nice day. We value your commitment to catching criminals. Long time no see. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Nobody's stopping you. I'm clean. Alright. So, do you know the guy? I'll bet you didn't know Mr. Bodinia. Not personally, but the boss and him had business together. I'll bet the boss put out a hit on Mr. Bodinia. You'd better watch out, seal boy. Some days you might wind up as the guest of honor at a fish marriage. I'm clean. So what were you up to on the night of the murder? I was in a card game with the boss and some other guys. The boss can back me up on this. You'd better hope your story checks out. I'm clean. So long, Sammy. Watch out for the East River on your way out. Masterpiece without red! I'm busy. So what is that you are painting? Murder? It is the austere Roman octopus. It was said that Emperor Nero used it to spank people to death for his entertainment. Whoa. I'm busy. I ask some questions? No! Nice try, but I'm afraid you'll have to. I know my rights! You are interfering with art! So... Know Mr. Bodinia? I knew him. He appreciated me as the tortured master I am. Until his money is used. Then... He lost him. So can you tell me where you were on the night of the murder? I was here painting. So you were at the scene of the crime? Why do you suspect me? Do I look like a killer? If you keep asking me questions, someone might end up being murdered. Don't bother me. That or he did it. He might have done it. Glasses need cleaning. I didn't see anything. Hello, Sammy. Anything I can do to help out? Hey, Wormy, any thoughts on the case? I'd say searching for clues is important to unraveling the happenings here. Build up a body of evidence so when comes time for the parlor reveal, you can accuse a suspect. I think I've already got my man. Please be careful, Sammy. I'm pretty sure your rash accusations have sent more than one innocent to jail in the past. Yeah, this is Bells. Is it Bell? 
doesn't sound like Jughead. I'm the janitor. I am Detective Sammy Theo, and I would like to ask you a few questions. Eh, okay, Flatwood, hit me. I'm afraid I can't hit you through the phone. Oh, a wise guy, huh? Ask your questions before I hang up. Were the individuals Bone Shark and Mr. Vinacroon present at the card game last night? Yeah, sure. Bone Shark was there. I don't recall seeing Vinny, though. Thank you. You have really helped me out on the case. Whatever, screw. Carl Dunn. Um, is this the Garden Beautiful Club? Yes, I am Lady Theodora Buck. How can I help you? I need to know if Madam Butterfly was at your convention last night. Unfortunately, no. The club's over and the place. About an occupation and allow the forces of chaos to take hold. Um, and that's okay. Goodbye. We're sorry, the number you are calling cannot be reached or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number and call again. Seems like the twin of Bodinia is hard to get a hold of. So Vinny lied. Hmm. Of course he did. I'm gonna ask him again. Come here, guy. Hey, Sammy. Long time no see. One of these days, I'll get you and make it stick. Maybe. But today ain't that day. I didn't have nothing to do with this. Long time no see. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Nobody's stopping you. I'm clean. I called up Bells, and the janitor says you were not at the card game. What? That rummy wouldn't know his own face in the mirror. You ready to come clean and tell me where you really were on the night of the murder? I ain't got Nothing to hide. I stand by my story. Me and the boss's word against some punk garbage man. I feel I'm clean. I swiped a pair of your shoes, and they matched the footprints I found near the crime scene. Did you just admit to committing theft? You can't wiggle out of this one. So the punk wore shoes like mine. Big whoop. There's thousands of guys who wear shoes like mine. I'm clean. So long, Sammy. Watch out for the East River on your way out. Oh, he found a key behind it. Mm. Oh, he didn't see what was this way. Hello. Oh, Sammy, how nice to see you. How are things with you? We've never been better. My hubby and I have been doing great since you helped us out. That certainly was one heck of a case. Who would have guessed the money was in the bag all along? If it hadn't been for you, Venison and Shirta would be down the drain. My hubby and I can't thank you enough, Sammy. My chat thinks it was the worm. Oh, Sammy, how nice to see you. May I ask some questions? Not at all. I'd be happy to answer your questions. Fire away. Hold on, before we do that, I'm gonna plug my computer in. Also, that sentence doesn't make sense. Can I ask you some questions? No. Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> Were you acquainted with Mr. Bodinia? I knew him casually. He was a client, after all. I probably knew him better than I would ever want to. How so? Mr. Bodinia was hardly the glamorous jet-setter the papers made him out to be. Very coarse and irritating, like sand. Okay, that's all for now. Fire away! 
So can you tell me where you were on the night of the murder? Um, I was at the office catching up on some paperwork. Hmm, anyone see you at the office? Consuelo saw me, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's all for now. Fire away. Bye-bye, Sammy. To the phone! Hello? It's Waylo? Yes, who is this? I'm Sammy Seal, and I'd like to ask you some questions. Is it gag or something? I haven't got time for. I'm a detective working on a murder case. wasn't there. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, Sammy, how nice to see you. May I ask some questions? Not at all. I'd be happy to answer your questions. Fire away. Bye-bye, Sammy. Oh, I can't. Ask. Hold on. Beep, beep. Whoa, you look suspicious. I am the dark stranger. <laughs> Something funny? I am excited to at last be free. May I ask some questions? Ask me anything. It will be my pleasure. So can you tell me where you were on the night of the murder? On the night of the murder, I was still imprisoned in this infernal closet. That is what I call a cast iron alibi. Were you acquainted with Mr. Bodinia? Last was he who imprisoned me here. I cannot thank you enough for freeing me. <laughs> you are weird. I'd say you'd make a good patsy. Excuse me? Nothing personal, but you're an easy conviction waiting to happen. Yeah, that's true. I mean, this guy's just sitting in the closet. Lady Butterfly, where were you? Or Madam Butterfly? I'd like to ask you a few questions, ma'am. I'd be happy to oblige. Have a seat and take a load off your feet. Now that you aren't standing like a beach to rest, what are your questions? I called the Gordon Beautiful, and they said you abandoned your post and let the forces of chaos take hold. I'm sure you've lied many times in your life. At least I did it to protect an innocent woman. Innocent woman? I'm referring to myself, of course. I had to lie to protect myself from the mob. The mob? Last night I was in the hall, and I saw a suspicious character with a gun. I heard a gunshot, then saw the gunman run off down the hall like a frightened rat. What did he look like? It was hard to see, but I remember he had a huge mustache and pants that were made of licorice. Huge mustache and licorice pants. Got it. Mustache and licorice pants. Hmm. Sounds like the roach boy elf, Mr. Vinegar. Any clues over here? Nope. Mustache and licorice pants. Ask you a few questions. 
Nobody's stopping you. I'm clean. So long, Sammy. Watch out for the East River on your way out. Who has a mustache? And well, I think it was Vi I think it was the vinegar guy. Why is the body moving? Letting me ask the people questions that I want to ask them. Oh, Sammy, how nice to see you. May I ask some questions? Not at all. I'd be happy to answer your questions. Fire away. Bye bye, Sammy. Back when you have sweet inspiration. Mm. There's gotta be more clues. Hello, Sammy. Anything I can do to help out? I'd like to ask you a few questions. Seriously, Sammy? Me? All right, ask away. So can you tell me where you were on the night of the murder? Why on earth would you ask such a stupid question? I see, so you have something to hide, eh? Sammy, you know where I was. You were with me at the Hookline Cafe. Oh, really? What did I order? Um, rat, I don't remember. Hello, Sammy. Anything I can do to help out? I thank you if you Just questions. lagged again. Seriously, Sammy? Me? All right, ask away. Were you acquainted with Mr. Bodinia? Not personally, but who hasn't heard of Mr. Bodinia? He was recently on the cover of Epoch Magazine's Top 100 Things to Become Famous. The body moved. He said he can't see it because his glasses are Hello, fogged up. Sammy. Anything I can do to help out? The body had moved. Did you see it? Sorry, Sammy. My glasses need cleaning. I didn't see anything. Also, he doesn't have arms. How could he move the body? in here? No, it was a cigar, I think. Got anything for me? I'd like to ask you a few questions. My business likes to cooperate with the law. I called up Bales and the janitor says Vinny was not at the card game last night. Oh, does he now? Well, me and Vinny say different. Our word against his. Why don't you come clean? Can't you see the jig is up? My lawyer sees it different. You can't touch me unless you've got more substantial evidence. So long, sucker. 
See, I'd, I'd Google it, but here's the thing. I don't know if it's, like, random each time. Plus, that's kind of cheating. This one's taking a while. Hey, Sammy. Long time no see. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Nobody's stopping you. I'm clean. So long, Sammy. Watch out for the East River on your way out. I gotta find a powder to put on the... on the glass. Some powder would expose the killer's fingerprint. That's what this is for. That's what we were missing. The killer wore gloves. Ooh. It was Mr. V. I know it was. He's got licorice pants. May I help you? I'd like to ask you a few questions. We at Venison and Sure Care are dedicated to moving forward with law enforcement cooperation. I found some deer hoof prints on the glass near where Bodinia was murdered. Whoever shared the drink with Mr. Bodinia may have been the killer. It is not our policy to imbibe wines or liquors. We value productivity, and coffee fits our memo for this crucial task. I believe your wife may have murdered Mr. Bodinia. All the evidence points to her. No! My wife is innocent. It was me. Take me instead. Okay. Um, I don't know what came over me. Have a nice day. We value your commitment to catching criminals. Oh, Sammy, how nice to see you. May I ask some questions? Not at all. I'd be happy to answer your questions. Fire away. I found some deer hoof prints on the glass near where Mr. Bodinia was murdered. Do you know anything about this? Um... I called Consuelo. She didn't see you at the office. Okay, so I lied. I had a drink with Mr. Bodinia last night. I just didn't want the mister to get the wrong idea. I see. What was the right idea? The egghead ambushed me with some detail that made it revealing to his policy. Then he talked my ears off with some weird philosophical nonsense until he had to leave to get some. Suddenly I heard a loud pop and ran in to find him dead on the floor. You witnessed the murder? Well, I heard it. The point is, I was too afraid to tell anyone because they would think I had done it. Don't worry, I am discreet. Ah, so there was a loud pop. Time no see. 
I think it was him. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Nobody's stopping you. I'm clean. I see you like to wear gloves. Yeah? So do gardeners. What's your point? Maybe nothing. I'm clean. So long, Sammy. Watch out for the East River on your way out. This is a tricky one. It could be him. I don't know. I... <gasps> that son of a bitch! What's up? Something wrong? We might have a problem. That seal's getting too close to our operation. I wouldn't worry too much, Finny. After all, you weren't the one who bumped him off. Best you could do is get you on conspiracy to commit murder. Yeah, but you know Sammy, he doesn't care about evidence. He'd send his old lady to jail on a whim. And I ain't in the mood to go to jail for something I didn't do. Wonder who the guy was you did kill, Mardania. He beat us to the punch on that one. The Lone Shark didn't kill Mr. Mardania? Who's there? <sighs> oh, it's just a cat. Or an elf boy. Wait, what? You've, un you've uncovered enough clues to get the. Okay, I guess. Hello, Sammy. I don't know who it is. I, do to help out? I don't. Yeah, I don't even know who it is. Get all the suspects together. It's time I revealed who the murderer really is. That was fast. Okay, I'll round them up. I have called you all here to discuss my findings on the case. Someone sitting here in this very room is the murderer. No, damn. And I am going to expose that person here tonight by using evidence to piece together what happened on the night of the murder. So let's get down to business. Um, Sammy, shouldn't we clean up the body? It yeah, must be the stone. Don't break my concentration. First I was stumped, but after a while, the obvious became more obvious. You see before you, the murderer. It's a lie! Whatever. You fake your own death. Me? Prove it then. Oh, I intend to. First, I will need the cooperation of everyone in this room. Close your eyes and imagine your mind is a toilet. We are going back in time. Not so far back. We're skipping the war of 1812. Just back to the night of the murder. Mrs. Denison told me Bodinia tried to offer her a drink. Mm, pardon me, madame. Care for a drink? Sorry, but I don't drink before bed. Um, oh, I just remembered. I have a detail in my insurance policy that needs fixing. Uh, fine, I'll take a look at it. This was all a part of Odinia's plan. He needed a witness. <sighs> we are all creatures of habit, after all. The strangers in the night exchanging glances. Wouldn't you agree that we are images of light projected by a madman? Um... Hold that thought. I have to get something. Now the stage is set for the murder. T. 
Kinagaroon makes his entrance. Vinny's here. He had already prepared the dummy gun shot for the day. Pow! Fake but convincing gun shot. He then used the red paint he stole from Derby. Sure, care we'll have to pay for this. I'll just let myself out. And that is the way it really happens. Um. What was the motive for Bedinia faking his own death? I can think of few reasons. Maybe to hide his ugly face from the public. He did it for the insurance money and to escape his death with loan shark. Yeah, you still owe me, Eggman. Caffeine Wormy. How is he going? Oh, I see. All dressed up and ready for the big house, Sammy. Another case closed. Yeah, get over yourself. That took a while. That took me almost an hour. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna move on to the next game. Uh, just a few more. I'm gonna throw some random stuff in here, just so I can kind of switch around. We're not gonna do the stuff in order. We're just gonna do the stuff that you know won't take me a while. Um, this was one I wanted to try though. Uh, World on Fire 2. And they made another one. I played one for another episode. I don't remember which one it was, but. I want to try it again. I want to try the second one because surely it's going to be better, right? There's only two maps. We'll do this one. It was episode 20 I played the first World of Fire, or World on Fire. I keep calling, I keep wanting to call it World of Fire. Yeah, so like two episodes ago. This looks awesome. Smooth animation. Map looks realistic. Sounds good. This is awesome. We got double points first round. This is going to be a good game. hit a health there we go yeah llama told me there was a trick to that I showed him this game I shared it with him if you guys want me to play your games or if you guys want me to um, see some cool games that you found you could share them with me um, 
Teams Fitco on Dreams. I don't remember if there's an underscore or not. There probably is. But I'll play anything. I'll play the weird shit. I'll play the horror shit. If you got an animation you want to show me, I'll look at it. Showcases. Anything. Hey droid, uh, droid 4DD, search Rugrats Adventure, after this we'll look into it cause I've got a long list of games I gotta review. <laughs> we, we spent an hour on one of them. Alright, let's see how lucky I get with the, with the box. Another double point? I've had three double points in like four rounds. Oh yeah, we're gonna get to the box, get to the box, get to the box, get to the box. Give me something good, give me something good. Yeah, we're gonna go down. Perk disappeared. Okay, we're gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for the uh, the round to end.
I need to. There we go. I need better guns. Magma pistol. Landmines. I did so well, too. The box is in the same place. Fifty percent increased damage to bullets. If stationary. Okay. Oh, you can only get perks twice. I see now. Okay. I want to save up for for box. Here's ammo. thousand so I'm thinking we get the shotgun and we have this and then we just farm points until we can get really good guns
There we go. Now we're closer to getting the box. Yeah, this is the best place to farm for now, I think. Until we can unlock more doors. This shotgun's powerful. Sounds powerful. I love a powerful sounding shotgun. Things got penetrating power, that's why I like it. Hellfire's Ale. Give me a good gun, give me a good gun, give me a good gun. How come I can only reach round seven? Thank you. 
I want that shotgun. That shotgun's really good. It really does seem like this is the better place to be, though. Boxes over there. Good night, boys, boy. I'm 
my chat is the only one that would come back to just say goodbye. Who killed the person? Um, he faked his own death. You'll see it if you watch the video on YouTube. Guy faked his own death. Nobody killed him. Yeah, he faked his own death. Insurance fraud. How? I don't know. Insurance fraud? I don't know. I'm not smart. Ooh, Wonder Weapon. Awesome. It does hurt me though. What can I trade for the shotgun? Did I search up Shaggy's Revenge? I haven't yet. I just get something good out of the box. What the hell? Of course I get the shittiest gun right now. Fuck. Alright. Um mm, let's do Alaska. This is something that I found today. It's a 
survival adventure cinematic thing and it looks pretty cool you know and if it, if it's anything like the long dark which is a long shot but if it's anything then i will be very excited to play and it even has a heart it has a heart right here it's an mm picks uh before we do actually play it though i want to let you guys know if you want to send me a game you can share it with team underscore spitco share your games with me give me a thumbs up follow me whatever you guys want to do doesn't matter to me. Please enjoy. There's run, light, interaction, fast walking. That's cool, there's a fast walking button. A tiny cabin. goes that'd be fun Thank you. 
what they're doing with these games and dreams, but they are just fantastic. The graphics are getting better. The gameplay is all good. The controls are really smooth. I can't do that right now. What am I doing right now? What's our goal? Oh, I got to get our backpack. So that's the story. All right. Well, damn. All right, now what? Oh, we go this way. already counting it I know what's gonna happen because we already have a flashlight option we've got to run we've got a fast walk can't go this way yet.
think I missed something. Maybe this is all there is. It's really cool so far. It's really cool. But, I mean, if I can't figure out where to go, I have to move on to the next game. Plus I'm just waiting for that weather to get better. Find a place to rest. Oh, I forgot I have an objective thing. Well, where, where would be a place to rest? Oh, I guess here would be a place to rest. When did I get a shotgun? Do I just always carry a shotgun with me? Let's 
guy likes to sleep a lot. Oh, this isn't going to end well, is it? I could already tell this isn't going to end well. Knowing what I know, we're dealing with the supernatural. I don't even know if this is a horror game or not. I just said it's a cinematic survival action. And this is nothing like the long dark, but this is definitely interesting, I'll tell you what. I'm telling you, the, the people who make stuff on here, they write wonderful stuff. They make wonderful stuff. Let me guess, the deer's gonna be dead.
Wow, that was actually really good.